Stop! Stop! Something needs to work. If you get a camper that's like this, I suggest you don't. That's so cool. Welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Rose and I bought this 2002 Sunlight Camper. I just recently, if you watched my last video, realized that the whole entire roof needs replaced. So we're going to start that today. It has been raining. It's been very difficult to start this process. I also bought this 2011 Toyota Tundra to haul this camper. So we've had some issues with both. So what happened was because we kind of took things apart a little bit, that water, it has been raining crazily, like storms. The water got in, and the one place I didn't have water damage, now I do, around the sink, and it all puffed up, and it's, uh, it's just another thing to replace. It's so frustrating. This is probably the last time we can actually put the roof up because it's so rotted out that one more trying to like lift it, it's just gonna fall apart. Like it's, it's that uh, um, bad. Because we took the, the canvas down, all the water got in and ran all the way down here and then filled up the sink, but also the surrounding area. So it was all nice and wet for us. And it swelled up the wood and that part won't go down too much. Hopefully it'll go down a bit. But we can't focus on that right now because we have to focus on getting this roof off. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow. So I need to find a huge tarp somewhere. Today's mission is to try and get the whole top off of the kit. The camper and we're trying to think of ways to do this whatever way we do this is going to be awkward welcome to my channel i'm really glad that you're here with me doing this your support and encouragement means a lot and once we get all the structural work done then we can get into the fun actual renovating the inside and making it look cool but we have to get this done first i'm very intimidated by this because i've never done this before so we're going to start letting it down we prop it up with some crates and random stuff And we're gonna see if we can let it down some, unscrew it and feel how heavy it is. And if we can actually just manpower it off. If not, then we'll have to do something else, but it's possible we could just kind of slide it off. So we're slowly, my dad's cranking it down. We're gonna see if these crates actually hold. This is actually very terrifying. <laughs> debolt these metal sides right here take those off okay so we just took the bar down every now the weight is off the bar and now we need to figure a way to like kind of just throw the roof off i'm dyslexic when it comes to left and right what would that be called when you keep trying. no when you can't tell your left and right left and right have always been very abstract this, this is just a big experiment okay, so this could go very well this it's a poor man's way of doing things I feel like I need more than a bucket to stand on. Oh, wait a second, I'm, I'm slacking over here because I don't really have a lot of room with this bucket. Ready for it? Don't lift me Oh, wait, that's sliding. Is that all right over there? Ready, Tori? Okay. This isn't even on the crates on this side. Be careful. I just want to be as safe as possible. I don't want anyone getting hurt. It is just hanging on up there. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. My arm, okay. Now we just like this slide it off. I feel like this is gonna be the final push. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Should, should we start tipping it down? Go ahead, lift it all the way. Oh, oh. Anything binding? Something feels it's getting kind of heavy. Wait, Dad, I did, wait, Dad, Dad, stop, stop, stop. Can you tell me what's going on? Over here. Okay. Now you can do your filming. Okay, um, let's have a look at our new. Ooh. 
So as you can see here, we were having trouble with the cupboards and stuff, but with all three of us, my dad, my brother-in-law and me, we were able to do it. Um, very glad for the help. This feels good. This is, the, this is gonna be the hard part. And now, obviously it's gonna take a long time to redo the whole roof, but now the hardest part, getting that off, is accomplished. So that's how you do it, in case you wondered. I know it was a long drawn out process. It, it took us, I don't even know how many hours. Like you have to really think of everything because you don't want anyone to get like, hurt. We have the roof off. against the side of the bad side that we've had so many issues with and it's completely crushed because it's completely rotted out on the inside. Basically, this is mostly just styrofoam and then a very thin piece of wood right here and it's all rotted out on the side. Like and another problem is it's gonna to rain tomorrow so we have to actually go get some tarps that can, actually, that can fit this because both of these need to be covered. That was very stressful. It's all wet too, like from, like I said, we had like a huge storm and this is just all wet in the back here. The wire that runs right here, this is. So we're gonna have to take all of this out and get all this styrofoam off because it's all pressed in there. Um, yeah, this thing has a bunch of little pinholes on the top. We don't really know why, but like right up here and there's so many like little pinholes. We're going to seal all of those. I'm quite overwhelmed. We just need to get some tarps and cover this and then wait for another sunny day to continue working on it. With these types of things, you can only do so much in a day because it becomes very mentally exhausting and physically. All right, just a little intermission from the camper <laughs> we need those I, I can only work on that thing like a few hours at a time before I get start getting discouraged in the meantime I'm going to put decals on my truck reconstructing things is not as creative as I like to be I'm really looking forward to the renovating on the inside when we get that going but in the meantime I can't really be creative with the camper so I know what you're thinking you're probably like, don't ruin it it's tacky but it's my truck my idea was to put a racing stripe or stripes right in the front for fun. I wanna make it look more cool. You know, it's just a kind of a boring truck right now. To me, I'm not, you know, a big truck person. I am kind of now, this thing's big. Makes me feel tall. I got this specialized Tundra decal to put on the side. And then I also got this anti-social thing I'm gonna put on the windshield probably. I don't know how good this is gonna look, but I think it'll just give it that, that pop that it needs. This is actually a lot harder to do than it may seem because you get, have to get everything lined up. And I put a decal on my Jeep, which is quite easy, and I just eyeballed it, but I wanna make sure that this looks good. Spray it with a little bit of soap water, and I'll come back and show you how they all look after I'm done. I really hope this turns out good. I need some, I need some, some good. <laughs> something needs to work. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, something needs to work. I need a good momentum. And I like decorating, obviously, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I just decorate. And some people are like, do you have issues, childhood issues? Do you have so many tattoos? Or what do your tattoos mean? I genuinely just like to decorate. So I put it on, I let it sit for over half an hour. And that was the moment of truth. So far, so good. I'm gonna take the rest off and then give you the final the final reveal of all the stickers. Okay, it is done. It took a long time to do. I'll give you a little show around. We are doing day two of this roof expedition. I'm not looking forward to it, but it rained the past couple days, so we had it tarped, and now I think it's gonna be sunny. So we're gonna start on taking this apart and seeing what's actually inside of it. I'm skipping my upload for this week because I really wanna make progress on this and not make it seem so much work. Like I wanna have some sort of progress made instead of just breaking more things. So I'm taking two weeks to make this video so we can actually see the progress going.
decided we're going to keep as much styrofoam in as possible, even though there's a lot of bug damage through it, but we're just going to put some expanding foam in there. And because that is the integrity of the roof is just the foam. And it's also pressed in there, so it'd be very difficult to replicate that. So we're going to try to do that and get these boards out from the sides because they're rotted um, and replace those and then put a panel on top. The one good thing about everything being completely water damaged is that it's easier to get off. The stuff that's not water damaged is very difficult because it's glued on. So what we're trying to do is get all of that off. One, there's one corner that's a good corner and one little patch of okay uh, styrofoam and wood. only did we have the water damage. We also had the wood on the sides glued. So we actually had to take basically the whole outer shell apart to be able to access that. And then on top of that, tons of bug damage, different types of bugs. There's just every variety of bug in that roof. Um, they made tunnels and made the styrofoam in some places just into a fine powder. So we're working against a lot right here. Today, we're gonna call it a day. That's what we got accomplished. It's a lot of work. If you get a camper that's like this and you wanna renovate, I suggest you don't. But if you have it and you must, it is a lot of work. And there's a lot of problem solving because obviously we're not a factory, so. But I don't think I'd be able to do this without the help that I have. I'm so grateful for my dad and brother-in-law that are helping me, but I am learning. Anyways, let's go on to the next day. Another day, another opportunity to find more problems. <laughs> Uh, today I'm hoping to take measurements of everything and to get all the new stuff that we need at the store. That's what I want to do. Will it happen? I don't know. I don't have my uh, brother-in-law here today, so it's just me. And we'll see if we can get anything accomplished today. Okay, so we're in Home Depot now and looking for all the lumber, all the screws. We took measurements for everything. And now we have to see what we can get. And it's gonna be expensive. This lumber is expensive. Okay, so they don't really have anything here at Home Depot that we need. <laughs> None of the lumber, it has to be very, very exact so they don't have what we need. So I guess we had to find somewhere else. No luck at Home Depot, we got absolutely nothing. We went to Home Depot and another lumber place and they didn't have anything that we needed. So what we're gonna have to do is custom cut everything because I've looked all around and they don't sell three by one inch boards. So we have to get two by fours. I'm gonna try Busy Beaver, see if they have them. I ordered the hardware off of Amazon. So this is the most difficult part is that everything has to be so you know, perfect to put in the, the top. And that's the hardest part is getting anything flush. I was very stressed out yesterday. But let's try Busy Beaver and see if they have the two by fours. So I got the two by fours. My dad's gonna have to cut them. And I found a panel here that's an eighth inch to put on the ceiling. I need to get three of them and they're $20 each. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add up all these costs and, and tell you guys what I've spent so far because it's a lot. Okay, so we got the wood on our paneling and you can see it's quite sticking out on the back. But I spent there $153. I also got the contact cement, which we need to put the paneling up. The guy at the store really helped me look at all the woods and see if they're straight enough because my dad has to like custom cut them. So they have to be perfect. So hopefully we got okay wood. Otherwise I know he's gonna like make me bring them back or something. All right, fingers crossed. We got our lumber and stuff. And now I just need to wait for the hardware to come. In the meantime, I'm going to scrub the mildew off of the, uh, what do you call these seals or whatever. It's best for RVs I've realized to save as much stuff as you can because getting the right sizing of Hey, baby. Hi, baby. Don't come over here. I have bleach water. Getting the right sizings of things is really actually very, very time consuming, expensive, and difficult. So I'm going to try to save this, and I'm also going to try to save the canvas. A lot of people suggested getting new canvas, but after all the work that I'm doing, nah. I'm just going to scrub it as much as possible. And it should be fine. I have a lot of canvas repair kits that I got from my wish list that I'm going to sew it up the places that need to be repaired because taking all that off would be just a 
huge headache. These gloves I got off my wish list, very handy, thank you. A bit small. <laughs> Time to take off my plates. Not that I haven't like showed my plates the entire time I've been traveling. It's one of those things that's just like so hard to just always crop out and it's like there's normally so much you can do with it anyways. So taking these plates off, finally getting plates in my truck. My title just came yesterday. So I'm going to the notary, but before that I need to get an alignment. I love my Jeep still. I really I don't want to sell it. I'm going to, but I love it. So to clean it out, comment below if you want to buy it. <gasps> She's a good girl. Back at it. I got this expanding foam to fill in the styrofoam pieces for my wish list, which I'm so grateful for. I'm so excited. I got a vent fan, which was very needed. So this is an actual fan. So I have some ventilation. And now we are cutting the wood because we have to, because we could not find any wood that was the right size. And we didn't want to use plywood. We just wanted it straight. So my dad's going to do it. I'm not going to do it because I chopped my hand off. Let's go over and see how you cut two by fours. I got the plates for my truck, which was $240 to transfer the plates. So now it's a Pennsylvania truck. I tried to get an alignment, but the tie rod ends or whatever were seized. So they couldn't actually do it. And it's going to be an extra $500 to replace the tie rod ends. For the tie rods, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but that's, I'm not thinking about it right now. So let's cut some wood. It keeps turning off because it keeps overheating, so this is gonna take a really long time. This is not the ideal way to do this. There's no ideal way. This is very difficult to get such custom cuts. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but it's gonna take a long time. is gold. Okay. You cannot find this in the store. This is custom cut, my guy. Custom cut. One inch. A three and a half. There's so much wood cutting. This is taking ages, but we figured out a technique to we have to cut them basically twice just to get it all the way through. So it's a lot of work. I wanted to progress way more than I did in this video, but this is just what you get. This is just the reality. A lot of the time is spent finding materials, customizing all materials, because this is incredibly customized. This is all customized. So this is as far as we got today on the roof, but the worst part is over. So after this, it should go a lot faster now that we have all the hardware, and I'll show you that, and all the wood cut. That took the longest today. It's our beautiful wood. So we got all of this hardware to replace all the bad hardware, which <laughs> it was all bad. So we're, we're, we really resurrect, we're gonna resurrect this camper. It was dead, dead, no life left. And that's a hard job for anyone. And I still say to the Facebook guy who sold it to me, but we're gonna get this done. The next video, we're gonna make more progress, I do hope. So stay tuned for the next one. If you wanna learn all the tricks of the trade, I know everything, just kidding. I just mostly learned from my dad. But that is today's video, working on the roof. Hopefully the next video we put the roof all back together. So exciting. And hopefully the next video we'll actually do the fun stuff. Oops. <laughs> all right, stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. You better be there.